G'day kids, Mr Bailey here, how are you all today? It's nice to see you all at the front. Now, uh, yesterday I made this promise to Jonah that when we got up the front for the kids talk, that I would give him a Freddo. And because I am a good dad and I love him very much, I am going to keep my promise to him. And here it is. It's even a milky top. They're my favourite. Here you go. What do you say? Oh, good boy. Oh, good boy. Isn't he great? But you know what? Jonah, I love you very much. And I know that you love me and you trust me and you believe me when I tell you things and you uh, know that I'm going to look after you. Oh, I need to take that back. That's pretty good, really. <laughs> Do you think he wants to give this back? Do you know how much he likes chocolate? He loves it. That would have been pretty hard, yeah? Pretty difficult? I mean, he did it pretty quickly. That's probably because I lined him up to do that yesterday. Um, but he did it, didn't he? Now, in our Bible passage today, uh, we're going to hear about Abraham, right? And he's finally got his son, Isaac. But you know what God does? He says to him, hey, Abraham, you need to give him back. You need to go sacrifice him. Now, that would have been pretty darn hard for Abraham, do you reckon? I mean, he's been waiting for a really long time for this son. Jonah's only been waiting a day for a little Freddo. That's pretty nothing in comparison to waiting for years and years and years for a son. And now you finally got him, and then God says, give him back. Pretty hard. But what does God do? Uh, what does Abraham do? He does it. He goes and does it. He shows that he believes in God and trusts God through the way that he acts. And then you know what God does? He's faithful to Abraham and you know what he does? He provides a substitute. How good is God? Now, um, I've lost my train of thought, so I'm just going to refer back to my notes very quickly. Sorry, children. Chocolate does that to you, doesn't it? <laughs> so if we believe in God, if we do, if we believe that his promises are true, if we believe in Jesus, who is our substitute for us, then we should act in a way that shows that too, shouldn't we? Yeah? So here's a challenge for you. And for you, when you are talking with your parents or after church, adults, ask one of the kids. Kids, ask one of the adults. Just go up and pull on their arm and say, hey, what can I do to show that I trust God? And then likewise, ask the kids, what can, what can we do that shows I trust God? Okay? There's some homework. Along with the questions in the bulletin, here's a little one just for today. Let's pray about that now. Hey God, thank you for your word. Thank you that in it we can read about your promises to us. Help us to live lives that show that we believe and trust in you and your saving grace for us. Amen.